ya, buddy. Woo! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you guys my halibut rigging. Um, I'm going to do a detailed step-by-step -step, uh, rigging for halibut, uh, the one that I do. Uh, there are many different ways of targeting halibut, uh, but what I do is uh, basically a bounce ball rig. So first of all, my fishing rod of choice is Shimano Traveler 7 for medium light, and the reel is Daiwa Lexa 300. Um, I did a review of these two items, so please check it out. I'll leave it in the description. And on the reel, uh, you can put 32, 30, 40, 50 pound uh, braid line. Uh, currently, I have a 50 pound braid on it. And I'm top shutting with a 25 pound mono. So from the braid, I got a 25 pound mono. And from there, the end of the line, instead of using a three-way swivel like this, I'm basically using a uh, barrel swivel to connect the weight. And I have a swivel snap at the end to connect the leader. So just to give you an overview of my rig before I go into detail, you got your weight. and you have your leader with the trap rig. So I got an octopus hook and a treble hook at the end. There you go. So I typically go about two feet on the weight and three feet on the leader. And as you can see, I don't usually use a flasher, but I do always carry around a flasher with me but I rarely use it. Only time I will, I will use it is if everybody else is getting fish with the flasher on, then I'll put the flasher on. When I do put the flasher on, I got a one foot of line in front of the flasher. I'll shorten my leader to two feet and connect my leader to the end of the flasher here. Let's get into detail step by step of my halibut reading. All right, first of all, let's look at, you, look at the items that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 2 watt octopus hook. I like to use Kamagasu Big River Bait Hook. And you're going to need a treble hook. I like to use the owner a Stinger Treble 2X size 2. And you're going to need a bead chain, a barrel swivel, a swivel snap, plastic bead, and some weight. I like using 8 ounce and 12 ounce uh, depending on the uh, condition uh, usually in the bay where there's faster current I like using 12 ounce but out in the ocean out on the coast since the current is not as strong as in the bay I like using the 8 ounce and last item is 25 pound of either mono or fluorocarbon I like using the mono because mono they have more stretch to it I like having the extra stretch uh, when I'm fighting the fish, so but you could also use uh, fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon does have a little bit of stretch as well. So first of all, you got your rod and reel. You got your braided line, 30 pound, 45, 50 pound, whatever you like. And you connect a, a 25 pound mono onto your braid. Like I said before, I'm using an FG knot, but you can use whatever knot you're comfortable with. Either it's uni to uni, Albright, whatever is out there, whatever you prefer to use. And you got your 25 pound mono from your main line. What you do is you insert a barrel swivel and a plastic bead, and you tie a snap swivel at the end. I like using a polymer knot. but you can use whatever knot you are comfortable with. There you go. So you got your barrel swivel that is sliding for your weight. 
and you got your plastic bead to protect the knot and you got your swivel snap that you're going to connect your leader to. So now we're going to connect the uh, weight to the barrel swivel first. In order to do that, I got a 3 foot of 25 pound mono. I'm basically going to tie a double sergeant loop knot. You want this loop to be big enough so you can easily slide your sinker through. And I'm going to repeat on the other side. So you got approximately two feet of line with the loop on the other end. So I'm going to use a loop to loop connection. I'm going to feed a loop through the eye of the barrel swivel. and feed the rest of the line through the loop now you have your sinker line connected to your barrel swivel and to attach your sinker I'm gonna do the exactly the same loop to loop connection I'm gonna feed the loop through the eye of the sinker and then I'm going to feed the whole sinker through the loop and there you have it now you have connected your sinker to your barrel swivel, sliding barrel swivel and you can easily change out your weight with different weight as you need it without using any swivel snap all right let's tie the leader now so what I got here is four foot of 25 pound mono and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the treble stinger hook And once again, I'm using a polymer knot, but you can use whatever knot you prefer to use, whether it's a uni knot. I'm gonna wet it. I got my treble hook at one end and I'm gonna go all the way to the other end of my leader and I'm gonna insert the line through the eye leaving it just a little bit and holding on to the line at the shank of the hook and you're gonna need another piece of about 18 inches of mono like so and you're gonna also feed a line through the eye and with your 18 inch line you're gonna make a loop and feed it through the eye going opposite direction like so so now you're gonna you have three lines that is resting next to the shank of the hook total and you're gonna grab onto the loop closer to the eye and you're gonna wrap it around just like you're tying a snail knot eight times three four five six seven eight and you're gonna hold tension to the so the uh, wrap doesn't get unraveled and you're basically going to pull the 18 inch line and basically tie a snail knot you don't want to cinch it down too much yet just nice and just nice and snug and you're going to slide your hook all the way down towards the treble hook 
and then I'm gonna give it another firm snug not too tight if it's too tight it won't slide as well if it's too loose it will slide too easily and also it will get unravel just enough pressure so that it will slide as you would like it and you just basically trim the uh, tag ends like so and now you have a sliding snail knot so the reason I use a sliding snail knot is most of the time I'm using an anchovy but sometimes I use jack smelt or shiner perch or top smelt um, which are all vary in sizes and you can when you can you ha when you have adjusted still knot you can accommodate any size bait you have and so one last thing is tie one last thing is to tie a bead chain at the end of the leader so again I'm using a polymer knot Cut the tag in. Now you have approximately three feet of leader. And the B chain really helps uh, from the line getting twisted. So it prevents line twist really well. So now you can connect your B chain to the swivel snap. that's coming from your rod. So you have your swivel snap connected to your leader and you have barrel swivel connected to your weight. And the one last thing I'm gonna show you is how to hook a anchovy. I got a frozen anchovy right here. So first thing I do is I hook the nose of the anchovy coming from underneath the jaw and going through the tip of the nose just like so and I simply use one of the hook of your treble and hook it through the tail like so from here you're gonna pull tension you're gonna slide the hook down a little bit and put a slight bend on it and it should be will roll in the water mimicking an injured bait fish That's all there is to it. There you go guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.